Hey, Carrie, it's good to see you. And Hello, I to Renee. I introduce you to people who I know would just love having a little bit of access to you because okay. in just the short time that you and I have been, you've been my coach, mm -hmm. I have noticed things about myself and my diet and um, certain things, my lifestyle that you brought to my attention that, you know, it's not that it's, it's brand new information, but when you listen to me talk, you're able to point things out, which is amazing. And tell me a little bit more about your role as a functional medicine health coach. Did I get that correct? Is that, would that be your title? You did. You're yeah. a functional medicine certified health coach now. So, oh, yes, you got your, you're certified. Let's put that in there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so my role is really to come alongside and support and um, really help to take the things that uh, have been challenging or elusive in somebody's health and life and kind of tease in, dig into that and find out what those root issues are so that they can be addressed and changed. And, um, but that's, that's really at the direction of my client. And, and what I like is that you, and then I went into this not really knowing what to expect. However, I had like certain little things that I thought, well, Carrie can definitely probably help me with this. And, and you know, at, I'm in my late 40s, so I know that there are just different issues that come up, and I have questions about what, is this normal, is that normal? I would love to get rid of those, you know, last 15 pounds, just like, you know, I'm, I kind of came into it as a, I should kind of get this weight loss, but then I also have some strange sleep patterns at night that I've had for a long time. I've um, just, you know, sometimes just bowel movement, movements are off. So coming to you and then you had a questionnaire that I started with and then we went from there. It opened my eyes to see how much it's not just like, here, this, this is what you're doing and you just need to go do this or oh, just go on a keto diet and that'll fix everything. And, you know, it's, it hasn't been anything like that. It's been a lot more, um, I think you're teaching me, and I don't know if you, you would say that, but I feel like you're teaching me how to listen to my body and, and pay attention and record things. And I, maybe a lot of it has to do with me talking out loud to you has really shown me, oh, okay, well, what happens if I, you know, eliminate something and just between having someone keep me accountable having someone kind of point things out to me and then make suggestions and then I try it and then after a week of doing it, I'm like, wow, that made a difference. And so that's how I feel with like, I cut out dairy and it's, it's changed a lot of things for me this, you know, the past I don't know, three weeks or so that we've been doing this yeah. um, that I could have thought might have, but without having you there to really point things out and, have me record or, you know, we converse back and forth, um, ha has brought that and other things to light. For, so I feel like that's been really good for me. And I know that especially women have so many different issues mm -hmm. that um, someone like you who not just being trained, but your own, you know, I'm sure your own diet and health and in your family, uh, what have you, what do you see as being kind of a common maybe an, a common issue that you feel like, oh, if women could just do this or that, what would you say? Well, I think you really hit the nail on the head when you said it's not just about, you know, one, one thing, I got to lose that 15 pounds. There's so much more to it. There's, we are, we are more than just the diet plan that we pick. Mm -hmm. um, it has, like you brought up, it has everything to do with how's your sleep? How is that affecting things? There's so many times that um, people are having sleep issues and they're not getting those seven to eight hours of sleep a night. And that will, that will affect their weight. And a lot of people don't realize that um, if they're only in the five to six hour range, that could be why there's some resistant weight loss there. So those are all things that um, you know, I, I kind of take my little lamp up here and shine a light on some of those things that aren't necessarily the first things that people would think of. Uh, you also brought up um, 
just some food sensitivity issues. And um, every person is so, so different. There are plenty of great foods out there, but what's great in your body may not necessarily be great in my body. And so, you know, when we look at, hey, what have you eaten this past week? And then it's not just what did you eat and how much of it did you eat? But really the big question is, is how did it make you feel? Yeah. When you ate it's it. Not even like, and I'm realizing from just talking to you, it's not even how did you feel an hour later? It's mm -hmm. like, how did you feel the next day sometimes? Right. You really notice, or if I have like, oh, the, you know, my stomach is just feeling like it's on fire. You know, sometimes it's backtracking more than just what I had for lunch. And this is at three o'clock in the afternoon. It could be the night before. Is that yeah. what? Yeah. Food tolerances and intolerances can, um, and reactions to things sometimes can, first of all, take a couple of days to show up and then last for, the reaction can last for several days, depending on your body and how your body reacts to it. Um, and that's, you know, and it takes a lot of teasing that out to really figure out what are, what are those little aggravators? What are those little buggers that are um, causing inflammation or um, causing reactions that we don't want? And a lot of people don't think about um, when, when I say, how does it make you feel? Not just your gut, but there can be actual changes in your personality. Like, okay, I ate this and I was really grumpy to my family. <laughs> like I was not a nice person uh. or I ate that and I just, I don't know, you know, I, you know, there's, there's little things like that, that people don't often associate with their food and um, having someone to just come alongside and shine a light on some of those things can really be eye-opening and uh, super helpful. So yeah, would you say food issues are, are often the number one, like if people can get control of what they eat or figure out what it would, is food like the most, or do you see like, well, no, nowadays it's, stress or a busy lifestyle or a lack of sleep or um what would you say or is it everything <laughs> yeah it really is and that's the thing like like um so a functional medicine health coach we're trained in uh, functional medicine functional medicine diets functional nutrition um positive psychology mind body medicine so addressing how um, that stress is affecting your body, how that stress is affecting your sleep, because it's all, we are so interconnected. It's, you know, food is just one little piece of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. How you're sleeping, how your stress level is. If you're somebody that um, you might be eating all the right food, but if you're eating that at your desk, while you're working and you're stressed out, you're not going to digest your food properly. Okay. And so you could be eating the most perfect food in the world, but if you're not making those digestive juices because you haven't calmed down and are just focusing on that food for that moment, yeah. then you're not getting everything that you could possibly get out of that meal. So there's, there's lots of little things like that, that, um, People are just like, yeah, well, if I just have this in my car on my way to here, mm -hmm. and they think, well, yeah, I can check that off my list. Lunch is done. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. But it's now six o'clock at night, and lunch still hasn't had an opportunity to digest because there's been no point in your day where you've been able to just stop yeah. and decompress and let that happen. And now you're going to put dinner on top of it. And then you're going to put whatever else on top of that. Yeah. So, yeah. There's, there's a lot of, lot more to look at. Okay. And then you mentioned functional medicine doctors. So I've, you know, the more I read about functional medicine, the more I think, I mean, thankfully I'm not, as far as I know, in a situation with my body that I've got some life threatening, you know, disease or something. Yeah. But um, when someone is, 
faced with either symptoms or they they are afraid of the future or you know what what do you recommend as far as um, functional versus traditional and I know that's that's hard to say because you can have an amazing traditional doctor who gives you great advice and that's what you should follow but what would you say to someone who's kind of looking at the future well functional medicine is really root cause medicine and so as a functional medicine health coach, I have been trained to work alongside a functional medicine doctor. So I can understand what their diagnoses are. I can understand um, all the food plans that they use, how to implement those with somebody if they need that. Um, what I love about functional medicine is that it does look at the whole body. It doesn't we are a whole body. We are not just our thyroid. We are not just our pancreas. We are not just our colon. We are a whole body and we, we are so interconnected. And like, you know, one of the things I specialize in in migraines and um, people don't realize that, okay, the pain is in my head, but your head is directly connected to your gut through the vagal nerve. And so, so having that vagus nerve connection there, what's going on in that gut is directly affecting your brain. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of there's, we're just so interconnected. And being able to have someone that, uh, basically a functional medicine doctor, is going to look at your lab work and the way that they may look at it differently is that they're looking at it as what is your normal range mm -hmm. not the normal ranges that an insurance company puts on numbers because what those are is those ranges dictate whether or not the insurance company is going to cover that for further testing mm -hmm. okay. and but just because it's within that quote unquote normal range doesn't necessarily mean it's normal for your body. Okay. A functional medicine doctor is going to look at those numbers in context with everything else that's going on. Mm -hmm. And if they see something that's like, mm, okay, this is just a little bit low here and you're having these symptoms, then they're going to kind of hone in on that and go, okay, well, let's look at that a little bit. Let's see if we can make some lifestyle modifications. Of course, with them, they have the ability to recommend supplements and stuff that that's not something that I can do. Mm -hmm. um, but they can recommend some of those things and see if they can move the needle a little bit without having to um, switch up, you know, without having to add drugs right. to your regimen. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of nice. They use they use pharmaceuticals as the last resort, not the first resort. They see what they can do to, with lifestyle intervention and changes before bringing in the big guns. Mm -hmm. And I support their patients by helping them make those lifestyle interventions and changes. Because a lot of people, you know, they'll come out of their doctor's office and the doctor's like, you need to change this in your diet. You, yeah. I really want you to go on an elimination diet and here's the paperwork, see you later, bye. Mm -hmm. And they're like, wow, I don't even know what gluten is, <laughs> you know, and they just don't. And yeah. it's very overwhelming. So basically, um, I can come alongside them and go, well, that's all right, you know, yeah. We'll break this down. We'll take it step by step. Take them where they're at, what they understand, what they know, and what they're willing to change. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. not everybody is willing to make some of those big changes. Yeah. Um, you'll hear a lot of people are like, I'm not giving up my roles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you're not willing to give up your roles. Mm -hmm. but maybe you're willing to give up your soda. Yeah, I didn't give up my coffee, but I gave up the half and half, <laughs> the cream. <laughs> and see, and that took care of mm -hmm. the issues. 
Yeah. So it's not an all or nothing type of thing. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, you've, you've circled this right back around to what works for an individual person. Yeah. And, and the lifestyle and all of that. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, okay. So if someone had their 15 minute call with you, mm -hmm. what would you do in that 15 minutes? So basically I would dig into why they've come to me. Mm -hmm. What is it that they would like to accomplish? What, where do they need the most support in their life? Yeah. How can I support them in that? And really, really digging in and figuring out what that is. Mm -hmm. So health coaching isn't, um, we, we make small shifts mm -hmm. over time to move that health needle. And which is why I don't normally do just, you know, one session and you're done. Mm -hmm. We do several sessions because it, it takes weeks, sometimes months to make those changes and make those new habits. Yeah. And that's really what we're doing is we're going for sustained change. We're not going for, let's make this quick fix. And then we're going to go right back to our really bad lifestyles. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> Like, right, woohoo, exactly. I fit into the jeans and <laughs> want my Cheetos back. No. It's not for your, your son's no. wedding in three months. <laughs> it's yeah. going to be something. <laughs> anyway, so I appreciate the fact that I have you to direct people to. So if they do have questions, they can, you know, spend some time with you and ask if there's something that they're dealing with. We have a lot of uh, skincare issues that I go back and tell people just that topical treatment may help a little bit, but it's not gonna cure it. There's something else going on, and that's where functional medicine comes in. So yeah. I really feel like to be able to tackle those big issues, especially those intense, and you know, moms with young children, babies, you want, it's in us to fix that, and it's hard. I mean, there's a lot of factors involved, but I love the fact that you, you offer so much hope, too, because you've got, those resources and even just the conversations that you and I have had, you're saying that there are answers and sometimes it's not as complicated and overwhelming as you might think. And I think sometimes, you know, those moms in the middle of the night just dealing with a crying baby just want to hear that. Just let's work through things, take baby steps and see if we can fix this thing. You know, so that's, I'm super grateful to have you and I'm going <laughs> to blast this little video on my website to show people that especially those people that just have little issues you know maybe it's not or big issues but maybe it's just not something that's going to be an automatic prescription of a drug they don't they're trying to avoid that that's that's pretty much the position that um a lot of our customers are in that have those extreme issues so i appreciate that yeah there's so and and like I said to you before we got started, the the biggest thing that I want to share with the world is that whatever we have been diagnosed with, whatever we are struggling with, even if we don't have a diagnosis yet, there is so much that we can do to move that needle. There's Great. so much that we can do through lifestyle change yeah. and mind-body medicine that can really, really move that needle towards health rather than towards illness yes. so i'm right, well, happy to help you. thank you all right and i'm thanks people, for having me i'm going to tell people how to get a hold of you if they want okay. to have that little consultation and um go from there so i appreciate it and i will see you on our next coaching call <laughs> yes you will <laughs> okay.